Expanded abundance among us, expanded abundance upon us, expanded abundance in oneness, expanded abundance is wondrous, expanded abundance is justice, expected abundance is indulgence, expanded abundance among us, expanded abundance is coming. Be patient, be present. Expanded abundance among us, expanded abundance upon us, be patient, be present. Expanded abundance among us, expanded abundance upon us, be patient, be present. Expanded abundance among us, expanded abundance upon us, be patient, be present. Expanded abundance among us, expanded abundance upon us. I am by my side, I can give me hope. I am the silver lining to all of my great thoughts. I am the realignment of stars and telescopes. I am the intertwining atoms and microscopes. I am the silver lining and I am so gold and vibrant The past and future design me be present is so exciting I see in front and behind me I am on my own timing Cause I am self-centered Leo ascended shining I think about the reality of things and how divine plays a role in particular energies it's like ain't no need to think about nothing or stress about anything it's like if you can't do nothing about it anyway like why worry about it you know what I'm saying like and it's strength in that you know it's a lot of strength in that I don't know people a lot of people like to deal with certain things I guess the the um the wherewithal of going forward into particular energies is strength but going forward doesn't particularly mean moving all the time sometimes going forward is allowing your energy to separate from certain things and be in a forward motion that has its own retrospective understanding to it you know but knowing that the divine is within everything you know what I'm saying? The ebb and flow of life. You automatically start to feel like, all right, it is what it is. I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. And you kind of go with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's some nice, yo. I lay down. And I just separate myself from the value of need. You know what I'm saying? Like, wants, you've been beat those wants down for a long time to say, like, yeah. Wants is just wants, whatever. And then the needs, you try to solidify your needs, and then it gets rough to a value. And then you say, fuck that too, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you just get to this place where you like, fuck everything. You know what I'm saying? And it's not it's not a level of anger or um, some form of frustrating output. It's, it's like realization in some sense. You know what I mean? And, I still have a, a place of that. The love doesn't have to go nowhere opposed to the value. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what makes life. That's what really makes the journey like even more important. You know what I'm saying? Like the journey is fire when you can solidify certain understandings within strength. And it's like, what can you call on through the circumstances of dealing with particular values opposed to being in whatever circumstance that you're dealing with so a lot of times you know i listen to people and i'm like yeah you're right i know the existence of the value of what people do i know that shit. but somebody says something today that just reminded me of something i say all the time i don't speak to that shit because i'm not giving that shit strength it's not like i'm about to put it in my story you got to keep in mind energies that are held are energies that are made so i'm not making no energy off of the existence of the connection to my energy if you do something to me that's what you did i'm not gonna add you to the story and be like so and so did i don't got time for that shit yo that shit corny that's why i said when you're doing the right thing you don't gotta worry about trying to fix it you did the right thing you know what i'm saying like that was the point you did the right thing you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to say you did the right thing when you did the right thing. 
You don't have to prove you do the right thing when you always do the right thing. Like, you don't have to, hey, I'm doing the right thing. Nah, that kind of makes it look like you're not doing it. You know what I'm saying? When you always speak it to a value, it makes you look like the one that's not doing it because you got to tell people that's what you're doing. So I been got to a point to where I realized I ain't got shit to say. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say. Like, you believe what you want to believe about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's you. Matter of fact, I'd rather have you judge me anyway. <laughs> judge me so you could judge me wrong. I like that shit. Say say some say some other shit. Be like that nigga this, that nigga that. Yeah, hey, judge me. So you can be wrong. You know what I'm saying? So you can be wrong. And whatever that solidifies is a particular energy. You know what I mean? So I don't sit there and be in my head no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't even matter. No, you spend time by yourself. It don't matter what you did in life, what you're doing in life. You remember what you did. That gives you a wherewithal to know where you what what you what you can do, what you're capable of, right? But the people, the family, the friends, everything goes away when you can't do nothing for nobody. And I, I mean, I always knew that. Like it ain't like I ain't been here before. Like I've been in situations where I was everything was super straight you know what i'm saying like shit was beautiful and you know what people i didn't even know was around getting love from me you know what i'm saying and every time i would go down motherfuckers would disappear you know what i mean and you can't really say people be around when you be low like that you know what i'm saying it's like always the judgmental aspect and then what i always realized about it is the focus on it is it kind of messed up the journey to it like the focus on the, the focus on the negative value kind of mess up the journey of what you're going because you're holding on to like the the feeling of what it is you know what i'm saying and believe me i think about shit you know what i'm saying i think about a lot of things but if you can't do nothing about it why say anything why you know what i'm saying you did what you what you can do you know what I'm saying? And you just keep going with that particular energy. You don't look back. You let everything behind you keep throwing its darts. Indestructible, baby. You know what I'm saying? I don't see nothing nobody got to say. I'm going forward. You know what I mean? And whatever it takes. I don't know how long that's going to take. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't like the energy stops. I'm going to keep going. But automatically, hopefully, divine see way to part the clouds. So, therefore, I can make a foundation in the space. But until then, I'm going to maintain this character that I have because it's not just for me. And sometimes I get I get angry. Like, I think about how much service you got to put in every day for other things. Like, you know what I'm saying? And there's always somebody that needs something. You know what I'm saying? And you start serving needs of others regardless, right? So then you automatically be like, damn, I need my, I need my needs met. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes that's not a reality yet because divine have you in different head spaces and then i think about that too like i'm always going to be a part of the divine because that's what made me but it's it's a particular vibe of energy that i'm looking to see manifest and i haven't seen that you know what i'm saying and it's something that i don't really want to talk about yet because i only had touches of it you know what i'm saying like i only was able to touch it haven't had the full understanding of it. It was like just letting me know that it, I would to be aware of that particular frequency that exists. And that's as far as I got with it right now. So I'm just like waiting to see if more of that comes in. You know what I'm saying? I know one thing I did want to put y'all on to. Like I used to meditate so much and I get in this meditative space. You know what I'm saying? I'd be eager to do it. But lately, like, hold on. But lately, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't have to get into the meditative state. Like, I could just be doing, like, watching shit, doing anything, you know what I'm saying? And I'm already in that alpha state. Like, the waves are already going off around me, you know what I'm saying? They're already spinning. I can see the waters. Like, I just got to, like, sit back a little bit. I ain't even got to put much focus and I think I broke that like a while ago because I remember breaking that. And it was like, I did a video on it and I was like, yo, it's crazy. 
I can tap into the um, meditation state without trying to meditate. I remember that day it took place. You know what I'm saying? So, um, this is continuance. When you have discipline and you keep going, you get to a point to where you get the knowledge on a different level. It's like having a having a deep conversation with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, and um, that conversation has to be had in order for you to um to rise directly with the knowledge. It's like you got out of college, now you're talking to somebody in the new business you about to deal with and they just giving you the run through. That's what it feel like. You know what I'm saying? So hold that right there. I'm up out of here. Naga.